Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And a lot of times people want to be able to integrate ClickFunnels with a WordPress install of some type. In fact, if you uh, look at some of my more advanced training, I talk about building funnel hubs and things like that. And Russell and Steven talk about that a lot as well, where you basically have a WordPress install and you have a bunch of content on there, but then you also link from all that content, which is going to get you a much higher level of SEO. You're going to link to all that, and then you're going to link out to your funnels where you do your actually selling, collecting your money, running your webinars, running your membership sites, that kind of stuff. So there's a couple different ways you can set this up. And the first one is ClickFunnels gives you access to a WordPress plugin. Well, there's two problems with this WordPress plugin. One is it never really worked very well. And the other one is it has not been updated in at least four years. So I would clearly say do not use this WordPress plugin. The other th problem with it is a lot of the WordPress installs will not allow you to be able to put in any plug plugins. I use drop funnels myself and you cannot put a plugin in there so you couldn't use this even if you wanted to. So there is one other workaround, and actually I think it's the best solution over being able to use the plugin anyway. So let's just take a look here. So the WordPress API, you could come down here if you absolutely wanted to use the plugin, but I would strongly suggest not doing that. So what you want to do is you want to come into a ClickFunnels page, and let's just click on Overview. And normally you're going to do this with opt-in forms. You could also do, you could do full-blown pages into a WordPress install. You can do just about anything you want, except I'm 99% sure you cannot put any kind of order forms on there. So an order form page type, an upsell or a downsell page type, you would not be able to put inside of WordPress. And that's just purely from a security standpoint that the credit card companies wouldn't, um, wouldn't allow that. So in this case here, all I did is I built out a very simple little opt-in form. And then I'm going to inject that into my blog. So think of it like this. You put an opt-in form so you can collect all the names and email addresses and all that kind of stuff over at ClickFunnels, but you're going to put it over into your blog. So you're going to be able to use ClickFunnels to have the get the data, be able to send out the emails, all that, and your blog is just going to be there to generate some more SEO and backlinks. So all I did is I came in here, created a simple form, a headline, put in an opt-in, an input element here, and made that full name, put in a second email element that you're going to need right here, a second input element, and I named that, uh, I made that an email address, and then I said here, click to sign up, and so on this, we're going to have this submit the page because in order to get it to save the data to ClickFunnels database, it has to be submitted. So now here's the problem. You're on your WordPress blog and you just told this thing to submit the page. So you got to figure out where do you want it going to once they submit this information. Now where you may want it to go to is to a thank you page, may want to send them to a sales funnel, you may want to do a lot of things, or you may just want to send them right back to the page that they are currently on. So it's up to you, but how you set that in here is you come over to settings, you come down to general, and you say, okay, on submit, go to. So when we submit the information, it saves the name and the email address into ClickFunnels, and then we're going to say where do we want to go. In this case here, I'm just saying go to google.com, but like I said, you can send them to a funnel, you can send them to a thank you page, either in ClickFunnels or inside of WordPress, or you could just have it go back to the exact same page that they were currently on, so it's really up to you where you want to send them to after they opt in. So now let's bounce back out of here and I will show you exactly where we get the code to now embed this into WordPress. So once you're back in the funnel editor page, we're going to come up and click on publishing and then down to embed code. 
and then it gives you the code right here. Now, a couple things you want to watch out for here. One is it says width 100% and height of 650. So once you put it into your WordPress page, you may need to come in and change, especially the height of this, depending on if you don't see the whole thing or if there's a scroll bar on the right hand side, you're going to want to increase that height to the point where that scroll bar goes away. And so you don't have to have people scrolling up and down on the page. Now, especially if what you're looking at is putting in an entire page. If all you're going to do is put in a little opt-in form, 650 is probably enough and you'll actually probably make that even shorter. But if you're going to do a full-blown page, you, you, you know, your height on here could be three, four, five thousand 5,000 pixels even, um, but you don't put in the PX, you just put in the number. The other thing you want to watch out for is if you ever come in and change the the name of the page. So this is the ending URL. So it's command center, whole bunch of numbers, and then dash one. Well, where that came from, let me click out of here and go back to the overview. I will show you where that came from. So if you ever change this, which is the ending URL. So let's just click on this on the gear next to edit page. So ending path of the URL. So that's the one. That's where it's going to end up as the very last step. So you see that matches right here what we have inside of the embed. So if you ever change that, you got to make sure you come into publishing and grab this code again, or at least change it on your WordPress install so it's exactly the same URL as you have on your page itself. So we're just going to click on this and we're going to say copy and we're going to go out of here and then we're going to go into our WordPress install. And so all I did here is I came in and I'll just do another one over here. So we'll just pop on this and all of the WordPress installs, no matter where they are, they're going to have a module or element or whatever they call it. And it's going to be an HTML element. So we're just going to grab that element and drop it in wherever. I'm assuming you're using a drag and drop type of an editor, which I think most all of them are today. And then all we're going to do is we're going to paste that in. So as soon as we paste that in, you're going to see the form immediately populate right here on the page. So in this case here, I'm just going to delete this back out and just take a look at the existing one. So like I said in here, and let me disconnect this so we can maybe get a little more width on it to be able to see this a little better. So here we have our height. And so I have more than enough height on this right now. So maybe we just reduce this height down to, let's say, 350 pixels and see what happens. See, now what I got is I got that scroll bar there. So we definitely don't want that. So let's just put it back up to like 400 pixels. And there we go. That looks like a good height. So now we will save that. And then when we are done, we will publish it. And now the, light, the site should be live, but what I want to do, what I like to do a lot of times, especially if you're doing any kind of code at all, I like to reload the page just to make sure that the code is actually working properly. And then we got our opt-in form, and we got our name and our email, which auto-popped for me. And then we're going to click to sign up, and it's going to take me to google.com. So that's why I said you got to make sure that once it's done, you know exactly where you want it to go to. So that's really it. You just have to come in, grab a hold of your embed code after you build out your form, and then just plunk it right down into your WordPress install inside of an HTML element, adjust the height, and you're good to go. And you can collect names and do whatever you want right inside of ClickFunnels from your WordPress install. So if you got any questions on that, let me know.